welcome back to the channel guys so today we are doing things a little bit different our families are over and we just decided to do a sunday brunch so today we'll be preparing jamaican jerk chicken i hope you guys enjoy this video and just stay tuned look at how we do it here on planting hill so right now we're just preparing the chicken to get them seasoned And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment and tell us how you do your jerk chicken. So here we have our skeleton guys. If you notice the dirt on the roots, like this is coming straight from our backyard, straight to the kitchen. So we're just gonna cut up all of that. And just put all of that on the chicken by the way guys all the herb seasoning that you see so pepper scale and whatsoever all of this is coming straight from our backyard so what we do is put a cups of pepper you can't make it too hot because kids will be eating as well we add our, our jerk seasoning Let's put about two tablespoons of that. Add some chicken seasoning. And you know how we do it here in Jamaica, guys. We just pour seasoning until our ancestors tell us, that's enough, my son, stop. Then we add some all-purpose. Before we had, we had a little bit of salt. And what we want to do is not to add too much salt because each of these seasonings, they have salt in them. So just try to use less of each of them. So you want to just rub in all of those, the herb seasoning with the powder seasoning. And ensure that um, it gets everywhere. And one thing you want to do, do also, you can stuff the chicken with, with some of the skeleton and the pepper and so on inside of it. So here we're just doing some, putting some saran wrap over it and we will be leaving this to marinate for a couple of hours I'll say about 2 hours and it should be good so close to the 2 hours you want to start catching the, the jerk pan so what how we do it, we use a bit of cardboard, we put some coal on it and a top of kerosene oil. Ensure it gets your cardboard and there you have it, we have fire. So we leave that for a while for it to catch. Once it's catch then we go for our chicken and if you look at it guys it's looking oh so good smelling good as well and then we start putting that straight to the grill so what you want to do guys is to check it from time to time to ensure that it's not burning because we don't want to burn the chicken here we want it to be nice and soft and just good it's coming together real good so but it's not yet ready to turn so we can go back again after a couple of minutes and check it again I know you see when you touch it with the fork it's more firm look at that a nice color under there guys so now we can start turning the chicken mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so guys when you're jerking a your chicken what's the one thing you should always have to put on it let me know can you tell me can you tell me guys Do you 
chicken is coming out real nice. Yeah, looking good. Looking real good. Mm -hmm. So you remember what I said to you guys earlier about that one thing that you always have to have to put on the chicken? This is it. Red stripe. Can't jerk chicken without a red stripe guy. So we didn't have the red stripe beer. So we, we decided to go with the lemon paradise. So we just sprinkle that on the chicken guys. It gives it such a good flavor. Chicken is smelling real good right there right now guys. Can you smell it? Let's add a bit more of that red stripe on it. Let's add a bit more of the red stripe on it guys. Can you smell it? Yeah. Looking good right? So now these are ready so we can take them off the grill so guys we cut up the chicken so that it can serve for a number of people and it stretched that way so we are able to serve more people with it so you notice how it's just cutting right through the bone guys that chicken is just so soft oh my look at that just going right through the bone so what we're going to do here is use this sweet pepper to add a bit of garnish on top of it you know we have to eat our food pretty right so we just cut these in straight slices sprinkle them on top here we have it again guys onions straight from our backyard to the kitchen so what we're going to do with this is cut a few slices of onion and sprinkle it on top of the chicken as well just to add a bit of garnish to the top of the chicken and the green part we end up using that as well and what we want to do is add some color so we put a few slices of the scotch bonnet pepper I'm not going to show you what this looks like. Look at that guys. Real Jamaican jerk chicken. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Look at what we are serving this with. Baked mac and cheese with some boiled corn. So this is our Sunday brunch. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye.